Hey guys, this is Robert Simone here, and welcome back to another drawing video. And do you guys know what to, what today is? Yep, yeah, that's right, guys. Today is Groundhog Day. So today is Groundhog Day. So that means that tonight we're gonna be drawing a groundhog. So and we're gonna be drawing a groundhog. So guys, if you guys do not know what a groundhog is, so let me explain. A groundhog is an is an um an, an animal that comes out of the ground. And you guys know what he does? He, he and, and you guys know what a groundhog does? He looks he looks for um shadows to see if he can see them or not. So you know what guys? If it, so, so, so okay, so, so okay, so so here are the two right examples I'm gonna be telling you. If a groundhog sees a shadow, that means that that means we're gonna have six more weeks of winter. But if the groundhog does not see a shadow, that means that spring comes early. So that's what a groundhog does. He looks for shadows and stuff like that. So yeah, guys. So like I said, we're going to be drawing a groundhog because today is Groundhog Day. So without further ado, guys, before you guys start drawing, you guys know the drills. Please make sure you get your, your pencils, blacksmith marker, pen, color pencils, or whatever you got with you, and make sure you follow along with me and enjoy the video. Okay, guys, so you know what? I'm gonna use the, this pencil here. I mean, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna use a pen for this drawing video here. Okay, so now without further ado, let's start drawing the groundhog. Okay, so the first we gotta do is do this so we can make um so we can so we can make the skin of a groundhog. All right, we okay. We got the part of the of the groundhog skin done. Now next we gonna draw is the ear because we cannot have a groundhog without any ears. So that means that we gonna have a a bald groundhog. Which sounds pretty funny, to be honest. Okay, anyways, we got the the ear done, and you know what? Let's let, let's make another one, so we can make it. We, we can make it a little more colorful. There we go. That looks that looks perfect. Okay, next, let's draw the eyes. Okay, we got the eyes done. Now next we gotta draw the nose. Okay, next we'll do the mouth and then we gotta draw the teeth. Alright, we got we got okay, we got we got the face done. Okay, now let's draw the arms and the hands, of course. Cause every animal do have um arms and hands, just like people do. All right, here's the groundhog, guys. Okay, here, here's the groundhog, guys. Although that it looks like a hamster a little bit, or a guinea pig, but it still looks like, but, but it still looks like a groundhog. All right, and now, and yeah, and now let's make this. There's, there's a groundhog is coming out of the hole there. All right, we got the the hold on, and you know what? Let's make let's make the zigzags so so so, 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 so we can we can make a, a grass. All right, there we go, guys. There's our groundhog, and it looks super easy. And it's a short video, but we're not done yet, guys. The only thing that is left now is, of course, the colors. So let me put my phone down so I'm gonna look for the right colors I need to color in the groundhog. Uh oh, excuse me, I just burped. Sorry about that. Uh oh, excuse me again, guys. Oh man, I don't know what's my problem with the burpings. All right. 
right, guys, I am back. And look what I got. I got the right colors that I need to color in the groundhog. Okay, so, okay, so the colors I got is brown, light pink, black, beige, and green. Okay, 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 so, so, so I got so I got the color brown to color in the groundhog skin. I got like paint to color in the nose. I got blood to color in his eyes, and of course the hole there. I got beige to color in these parts of his ears. And I got green for of course the grass. Okay, guys. Now without further ado, let's start coloring the let's color it. Let's start coloring in the groundhog. Oh, just gotta remember I can put my phone down so I can get these things so I got done a lot quicker. Okay, guys, I am back, and look at this, guys. That's how you draw a groundhog. So thank you very much for following along with me, and thank you so much for following along with me. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Please share your friends. I hope you guys have a good night, and once again, happy Groundhog's Day. Goodbye, everyone, and peace out.